Mail Merge a Form Letter using Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. Hi everyone, Kyle here, and today I want to show you how to perform a mail merge using Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. What I have here is a form letter that I wish to send out to multiple recipients, and here in Excel I have a list of those recipients. I want to input this data into this form letter so that each recipient receives their own personalized letter. First, I click on the Mailings tab and click the Start Mail Merge button and choose Letter. Then I click on Select Recipients and use an existing list to find the spreadsheet of email addresses on my hard drive. I choose which sheet from that workbook I want to use and now I have these three buttons address block, greeting line, and insert merge field. So I'm going to put my cursor where the address block goes and click the address block line. If you have your fields labeled in your Excel workbook they will show up right here already preset just as you see. Double check to ensure everything is correct and click OK. And you see the address block insertion right there we go down here to the greeting line I could insert a preset greeting line or if I only wanted the first name inserted I click on insert merge field and then click on first name and there's one other insertion I want to do in this letter these people donated money and I want to acknowledge how much they donated so your contribution of and I added an extra space there and I go in and insert the donation field will help us rebuild the skyscrapers so that will insert their donation amount into this form letter. Now that we have all our fields merged in from our Excel workbook we can preview the results and we do that by clicking the preview results button in the mailings tab. We look down here and double check our inserts the address block looks good, the greeting line looks good and the donation amount is correct and so we are ready to finish and merge. That's this button right here, finish and merge. And We can either edit individual documents which opens each document up for you to edit or you can send them straight to print. I'm going to choose edit individual documents, merge records all, and a new document comes up and each page of the document is a new form letter customized for each recipient print these out, mail them off, and your form letter is complete. And that's all there is to it. Now the process for merging email messages, envelopes, and labels is slightly different and those will be covered in other videos in this series. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and go to training.missouri.edu to register for an in-person class.